How's it going, everybody? Happy Sunday. Here we are again. Let me make sure I can hear things. That'll work better. All right. How's it going? Watching Pandemic on Netflix. Is that scary? Is that about uh, Chinese viruses? <laughs> man, oh, man. New York Smart Home. How's it going, Lynn? Peter, I saw a bunch of the homies up top. I saw Frank, Tyson, Carlo, Sir Good Enough, Seamus. How's everybody doing? Risto? Fantastic. <laughs> Remsol.com Tour 360 Tour 360. <laughs> I got to figure out what that means. How's it going, everybody? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Kenneth is here. Wonder what that was for. Anyways. Hey from Chicago. Good afternoon from Alabama. Epidemic radar map would help. Oh, that would be good, huh? So yeah. Happy not corona, yeah. Need help. Oh boy, smart home needs help. We, we you're in the right place. We could probably give you some help. Yeah, so title, title of the stream. It's official. We're not going. Uh I was holding out hope. I think Monday it was that um Gosh, it seems like it all happened really fast, but it seems like Monday it was that they said uh, no non-essential travel or something. And maybe it was earlier than that even, but then they even upped the upped the warnings to level four, DEFCON five or something, whatever. And then uh, I just got an email today from the airlines that said they canceled the flight. So not that I was going to go anyways, but even if I wanted to, is is over. The biggest bummer, there's a few bummers about it. One is, uh, I don't think I'll get a chance again for like a year. I don't know when I'll get to go again. Um, it's hard to get vacation scheduled for that much time, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Uh, the other thing was I really wanted to, you know, meet with some of these, some companies and, and talk about their devices and what they should do better. Like I'm important enough to do that, but I was going to do it anyways. <laughs> they don't know. Well, they could look it up and see that I'm not that big a deal. But anyways, I was going to be there to tell them, Hey, you should do this. You should do that. But we'll do that another time at the same time by rescheduling it. Number one, we don't get sick. We don't get anybody else sick. Uh, and the, the, the opportunity now has been more developed. Like, when when we were first going to planning this trip, uh, it was just, oh, we're going to go to PCB Way and we're going to film in their factory. And we only had like two other days to do anything else. And quickly that it became clear that was not going to be enough. So when we do reschedule the trip, it'll be a much better tour. We'll probably even spend some time doing some actual China tourism stuff, like go and see the Great Wall and some temples or whatever they'll let us do. Um, in a couple different places instead of just going to Shenzhen, running around and coming back. So stop by JLB PCB. Sure. 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 They, they, uh, talked to me early on. Um, I stuck with, I took, stuck with PCB way. Cause the, the lady who I deal with there, Elaine, she's just super nice. What? You're not going. Yeah. Not going. Orc pride. That's a cool, that's a cool name. Thanks for your stickers, Mexico, Matt. You're welcome. Do not stream from the wall. It's expensive. Don't stream from the wall. Okay. I bought a dang Pixel phone just to use Google Fi because apparently Google Fi works in China pretty well. 12 springs of 12 springs since I'm on vacation. That's a good idea, Ninja. That's a good idea. It will definitely be some um, some bug streaming. Did you guys see st oh, stickers for Pinky Wafer? Oh, that, you know what? That was what I was going to do. Hey, how's it going? Quindor's here. Uh, ISE in Amsterdam. 11th to 14th. Oh, the days I have are the 18th to 25th. I will probably end up, I'll probably end up working some of them. I am uh, going to go down to Arizona and see an old friend for a couple of those days now. And uh, the other times will be the bug. Did you guys see my, did you see my uh, Instagram post? Did everybody see my, my bug post uh, on Instagram? I, I would love to go to Holland. I would love to go to Holland. I need a reason. I can't, there was a, there was something I was thinking about that made me think, oh yeah, I need to go there for that. I don't remember what it was now. Work has been great for me. 
Orc Pride, is that Eric? Is that you? Are you at work? <laughs> Always welcome in the Netherlands. I would love to see the Netherlands. Where in Arizona? Mesa. Going to be in Mesa. From Bis Bristol, UK. Not been about to watch recently live. Had to catch up on some streams in my own time. Well, sorry, Duncan. Glad you're here, though. We have been doing a, quite a bit of streams. Uh, I can stay then by and meet Theo. Oh, really? Mike, Mike, you live near Theo? I would love to meet Theo. I need to get Theo on the show sometime just to say thanks. Yeah, the State of the, yep, State of the Union event, yep. But we uh, talked to Frank about that. We're not sure. We're going to drink a pint in the Netherlands, mate? <laughs> I would love it, Frank. You know I would love it. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. I don't know if it's going to be... It certainly isn't going to be February, because I don't think I could reschedule and get tickets, you know, and not pay an arm and a leg. And I only have one to give. I've already sold both my kidneys. <laughs> um, let's see. What was this? What is this? What is this? All right. Um, I have, I don't have much of a focus today. Do you guys have some specific things you want to, uh, um, talk about? I would love, uh, so I can tell you what's been on my mind. Um, I have, uh, I discovered that I bought some cameras. I was all excited yesterday to put up these Rio link cameras. And then you see that fine print right there. Wait, let's see. Where is it? Mm, there it is. For NVR only. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, that's a great idea, Blade. Let's do that. Um, we can, let's do some Node Red. And this is what I want to do in Node Red. You can tell, you can think about this and, and we can uh, talk about how to do it. But I want my, my holiday lights to be scheduled for days of the year. And you can do that in Home Assistant. You can do it through automations. It's not super easy. Uh, and I want super easy. <laughs> so node red, I was thinking there's gotta be some kind of a timer where you can say, okay, this is the kid's birthday. And so on that day, I want all the lights to do this effect. And on this other day, I want all the lights to do this other effect, right? Big timer. Should we start playing with it? I don't think there's anybody going to outvote that. Ooh. Let's see what Frank's up to. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. Oh, it's a home assistant bot. <laughs> and it's like talking back to you, Frank? Can I show this? I suppose I can. You tweeted it. Uh, so Frank's get, let's, let's look at this. Picked up an older POC from, let me turn that on. Um, all right. Modified it a bit to work with the current version of Home Assistant. Added a bit of additional logic and boom. This is so cool and useful. So Home Assistant bot, you say hi, it says hi. Tell me a joke and it tells a joke. Could you start the vacuum cleaner? Come be able to start your living room vacuum. Nice. Send the vacuum cleaner back to the dock. Okay, I'm going to do send it back to the dock. Awesome. <laughs> so what does Trump think? I love the poorly educated. <laughs> so this is cool. So how are you doing this, Frank? You This is a bot working in Home Assistant, and you're doing it through Telegram. So you're texting. You're texting Home Assistant, and it is responding. And not only is it responding to you like in actual language, but it's also activating things based on what you told it in the, in the text that you sent it through telegram. Am I, do I have that right? Cause that is freaking cool. That is really cool. That is awesome. All right. Sign me up for that. <laughs> let's get some node red. Let's do this. Let's schedule some lights to come on with node red telegram bot and home assistant almond integration hooked up together. So it's natural language chat with home assistant. Oh my gosh. Home assistant just came alive. It just, it just gained a personality of its own. Nice job, Frank. That is so cool. <laughs> I can't wait for that. Natural language processing. 
Virtual agent help desk. Cool. Frustrating at the same time. Yeah, I'm sure. If I'm correct, the easiest way to do it, you'll need big timer for each of the special days. Each one will output an on. Just use that to trigger a node for the effect. All right. PM on Discord. Let me check it out, Blade. Let me check it out. Oh, yeah, I guess I could use Google Calendar to trigger events. I've done that. Let's do it through Node Red. Okay, going through both step by step. We start the trigger, calendar request, pull data, get dates, school, no school. Okay. Let's start with, uh, let's, let's poke around. Uh, you know me and Node Red, I don't know Jack. So this is probably going to be quickly frustrating for everybody who does. Wait until you discover RESTful APIs. <laughs> what weather card is that? Uh, I think it's the graphic weather card. Big timer's awful. Super confusing to set up. Needs to be like five separate nodes. Okay, well, maybe we don't do that. So this weather card, we can look at it. This is, if we show the code editor, custom weather card. And I thought it was, I mean, it's animated, right? Look how warm it is here. So stinking warm. But then it's supposed to be like, if you look at the forecast, if you look at the 10 hour or the, the, yeah, 10 hour forecast, we're supposed to get like 12 inches of snow tonight or some crazy thing like that. All right. Let's see. James Selgaman, how's it going? YAML's easier than Node Red? It could far things YAML's easier than Node Red. It's easy because I know it. A panel with a few people who know Node Red. That's a good idea. Do we got to get a few people? What would happen if we got more than one person on the stream? That would scare me a little bit because not everybody has, ooh, anniversaries by Pinky Wafer. Did she do it in Node Red? Installation via hacks? Huh. Sensors. Anniversary sensors. And then you just put the date in and then it just goes to yes and no. Oh, thank you, Ruperto. I think someone should make a video of how to beautify Home Assistant. Still have no idea how to change the wallpaper in HD and iOS dark theme. All right, Ruperto, we can talk about that a little bit today too. Node Red is the dark side. <laughs> yeah, she did it without Node Red. This looks like a pretty simple thing to do here, guys. All right, Roman Wright is here. First time catching the live stream. You know what we do when we have somebody catching the live stream for the first time. We play some crazy funny animations with cool music. You're with Roberto. We should we should do that. Let me let's do this real quick. I want to do I because I, I think someone should make video of how to beautify Hoss. I ha. have no idea how to change the wallpaper in HD with iOS stuff in high drive. ZZ's. <laughs> high drive ZZ's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see rabbit hole wakey eggs oh goodness okay let's do pinky's thing here let's do jenny's thing because i know how to do this like I, I i can do yaml and it might be better um uh, integrations page oh really so you don't even have to do it here Brian, what are you talking about? Show me. Show me. Start posting. Oh, I guess you guys can't post pictures. We can post them in uh, Discord. If you guys have some things like this, start throwing them up in Discord. Um, in the meantime, what do you, I want to know what Brian's talking about. It doesn't have to be in the YAML, but in the integrations. I want to know about that. Oh, <clears throat> got the large LED matrix done. Still waiting to take to the office and install in the window. Nice. And we will, Ikafar. Yes, I do want to do Cloudflare for the website. Yeah, I was talking about it. I was talking to James about it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. All right, let's go through this. I want to, I want to go to Hacks. We're going to go to Hacks. We're going to install Pinky's, Pinky's thing. And she just called it Anniversaries, right? Right there. Anniversaries by Pinky Wafer. 
installation. Probably gonna have to do a restart. That's okay. It's a component. Oh, boop, boop. Yep, and I love this. I love this. I don't know if you did this, Frank, or somebody else did this, but I think I brought this up. Or maybe, no, it was the Shelly Dimmer. I have a Shelly Dimmer video that's done that I'll put out for tomorrow. Um, but this is fantastic. When you, when you need to restart Home Assistant and it just gives you a button right there and you don't have to go through the whole thing. Um, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Borrow a Pappers from work and still go to China. <laughs> uh, I could. I could. Hacks is by Ludius. Oh, so Ludius did that. He set that up. Thank you, Ludius, if you're here, if you see this. Good work, brother. Always good work. We got so many good people that do so much good stuff. No restart required. Restart Home Assistant. <laughs> yeah, well, it is also an integration. Oh, so go to integrations. So I probably didn't need to do this. I see what you're saying. Could I export my flow for WLED, Andy? Um, I don't know if you want my flow for WLED. Uh, you know who you want to get this from is Mark M. Uh, find Mark M in Discord because he made this and he did post it actually. We posted it. Where did we post it? We did post it somewhere. Oh, here we go, squirreling around. Huh? Um, maybe it's just on my GitHub. I can't remember where we put it. There, here it is. So you can go through this. Mark wrote these instructions. Um, so if you if you're, I don't know how. Uh, accurate they are anymore. I don't know what stuff's changed and, and, and things, but this is what Mark put together and that's what that flow is that you're looking at there. So if you uh, are inclined, have at it. Sniper Kane, that was a, uh, that was Halo 1. That was my gamer tag for Xbox uh, Halo 1 because as an anesthesiologist, we use a lot of lidocaine and I was playing a lot of Halo. So I was Sniper Kane. Sounds cool at the time. <laughs> All right. Still connection lost. Still restarting. Any PCB pros here? I need some help. I probably, I don't know. Um, who, I'm trying to think of who's the PCB pros out there. Um, obviously, I, I go to uh, uh, Bruno. Bruno. Like dead on my back. Dr. Sniper. That's right. Okay, there we go. It's in. Beautiful. Oh, I see. When you say integrations, you mean here? That's where I got it from, right? So many messages. Server maintenance. There's a potential for downtime. Okay. No problem, James. No problem. Thank you for what you do for me. All right. Now, we're going to go back to Pinky's thing and find it here. So, anniversaries. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. What? These are, yes. Did you want to open it? Something else in there. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was in that? Was that not yours? No, no, that was mine. I have something okay. here. How did you install that with the community store? Oh, did you miss that? That's really noisy. Sorry. Let me kiss him. Which radiant order do you belong to? Journey before destination. Oh, I don't know about radiant order. I don't know. There you go. Three eight of can help you. All right. Uh, let's do this. So this looks pretty easy. We're gonna go to. We're gonna just go to the configurator and ator, because that's what I do. Uh, install people have asked me lately about installing hacks. Is that pretty simple these days? I ha I haven't done it in since I did it <laughs> once. Um, all right, so let's find a place to put this. This seems like a good spot, and we're just gonna do anniversary, right? What if I 
If I click that, what's it doing? Why is it highlighted like that? That's weird. Oh, that's weird. Let's go to the repository and we can copy it from there. Probably a little easier. Da, 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 da. I could read this, but that would be too hard. Okay, copy that. We're going to go here. And we're going to paste. And we're going to we're going to put all the kids birthdays, all right? And then it will, will it show up every year. Oh, there you go. Thank you, Will. All right, shouldn't you use config flow instead? Config flow. What's that, Thomas? Thanks for being here again, by the way. What's config flow? Why don't I know about config flow? Uh-oh. So we're going to do grace Grace's birthday because hers is the most recent or coming up. Oh, and this is in Europe style, right? So she was 2013. Yep. Uh, February 5th. Okay. And let's keep going. We're just going to put a bunch of stuff in here. Figuration integrations anniversary, maybe. Hacks is pretty easy to set up. Good. I can also configure this in the integrations page. Oh. Well, then maybe... Okay, let's put this on hold then. Let's put this on hold for a second. Maybe I don't need to change that. Let's go back and go to the integrations page. Anniversaries. Oh, good. Kepe, Kepe Naski has a... Oh, excellent. Okay, here we go. Enter the sensor name, friendly name. Grace's birthday. Year, month, date, or month, year, if the year is unknown. Okay. Or you mean, probably mean month, day, if the year is unknown. That, right? Okay, so year. 2013. So you guys have done this already. Oh, I didn't mean to go full screen. How did I do that? Okay, 2013. 0207. There. Okay. Icon, calendar, fine. Star, number of days. Consider soon. What does that mean? Oh, I see. Like, oh, it's coming up soon, right? Don't you find this card transparency a bit annoying? Yeah, I kind of do right now. <laughs> I kind of do. Yeah, Val, I'm with you. I do. I need to fix it. Um, okay. Submit. Success. Finish. And so then every time I want to do that, I just do that again. And it's just going to keep on making sensors. Okay, and then those sensors will be there, huh? If I go look at if I go look at here, uh here, here, are they gonna be there already? Yep, there it is. And that says next holy awesome. So what does it say? then when it becomes that date days in advance yeah it does look pretty good is she here i haven't seen jenny in the chat waiting for the live stream to ask if you could look into something i found at i can try but probably not that's interesting for smarter home motorized chain roller blinds link in discord okay cool i think we've probably seen something like that but that's great Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes, thank you guys for the integrations thing. I didn't realize that was that easy. Oh, nice. <laughs> Matrix. Mexico. She's in Restream. Oh, okay, good. So she must be watching from Twitch. I'm not seeing her show up here. 
that's up next. Well, thanks, Jenny, for being here. Thanks for this. So the best way to trigger something from this then is going to be when the sensor value equals zero. Is that what we would do? And then what will happen if it's the day after? So I guess we don't want it to be the day after. So let's do this. Now let's set up an automation. Let's go here and let's just try and do an automation. We'll pick a new one. Let's call it, oh, you know what we're gonna do? Hold on. We're gonna, first we're gonna switch this theme so you guys can see better. We're gonna go here. We're gonna go here and then we're gonna do this one instead. All right, I like that one. It's easier to see. There's no more transparency behind there. Day after is 365 still, okay. Afternoon, James. <laughs> is it safe to have custom components folders syncing to GitHub? Good question. Should be, as long as you don't have secrets in there. The day after scene one action. All right, let's do it. Let's go here real quick. Automation. Configuration. Automation. New one. Oh, this is this uh, tricky way to do this. Okay, let's see. It should uh, turn on WLED lights. I don't know if this is going to work. On Grace's birthday. We'll just see if this, see how this, see what it gives us. Great. We need to know some devices. Add the light device. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have it as a device. No, I don't. Only I do. I have when I, if you put them in, if you put your WLED devices in through the integration, then you'll have that. I don't. Mine are still well. Some of them I do, but most of them are just not. So okay. So I'm doing it the old-fashioned way, which isn't the old old-fashioned way. It's the new old-fashioned way. Hey, that should be like in a song, maybe around Christmas time or something. <laughs> Grace's birthday. Lights. Description, how about we call it the same thing? Okay. Uh, state, entity, sensor. Grace's birthday. When it goes, what do we want? Do we need a numeric state? Does it, is that a string or is that actually a numeric, a numeric state? Do you guys know? Well, that's true. There is 366 days this year, huh, Patrick? If you do a test for today, see what happens. Yeah, we might need to do that. Let's do... Um, well, I think what I'm going to do is do zero. But I would like it to be like several days before. So I, I would hope that you could do it as a numeric state. But I don't know. I'm going to try numeric state because to me, that's what I would rather have. The sensor disappeared. Okay. I want it to be, um, I want it to be between. Oh, I guess it could be above zero, below say five. So for the five days leading up to her birthday, it will come on, right? So if it's, if the number's five, it'll come on. And then if it's four, three, two, one, zero, it'll come on, but other numbers, it won't. Does that, does that look like that's what that'll do to you guys? Okay. We don't need any conditions. Call service is going to be an MQTT. Ah, come on now. Or did I make, you yeah, know, I made a light. I made a WLED light. So delay, wait, what? No. Call service. Here we go. Uh, no, we're going to do light, turn on. And name of the entities to turn on. This WLED lights, all lights. And then the service data here, 
Um, I can't remember how I set that up. Do you guys remember? Let's look back at this and see. Uh, da, 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 da. You guys can see the backwards funny ways I do these things. Um, it's going to be light turn on and it's going to select. I want it to select a preset. Light turn on. Would it do set effect? I can't remember how I did this. Uh, I think zero means not on the birthday. Oh, really? Above zero means not on the birthday. So what should I do then? Have a great stream. See you, Will. Got to go to the Super Bowl. Yeah, we're going to go pretty soon too. Well, not yet. You going to the actual bowl? Oh, getting ready for it. Oh, okay. But can you do above minus one? That's a good question. Where's Pinky? Where's Jenny? She can tell us. I can't remember what I did. WLED presets. So we're going to make her preset number five. <laughs> That's going to have to be a different action. So we're going to turn them on. I also want it to be like at a certain time of day. Can I do that in the conditions? This is going to have to be input select. Input select, select option. Entity ID of the input select to select the value. All LEDs, this one. Okay. And then it's going to be number five. So probably that. I don't think that's going to work. Something something feels funny here. Something feels funny. Is that an option? It's red right there. That doesn't look good. That's better. It likes that better. Is that going to work? So skip the above value. Okay. Just skip it. Okay. What about, so this will turn them on and this should set it to preset five. Maybe. Sure is a lot of guesswork. Yeah. Blade saying it wouldn't be so, you wouldn't be guessing so much if you were using node red doc, right? That's what Blade saying. <laughs> Part of it is using this thing here is, is not so uh, tricky for me, or it's more tricky for me. I also want to put the time. So can we do a condition that would be time after a certain time of day so that it, like, it has to be dark. And how often is this thing going to check, I wonder? I wonder how much if it like is it only going to check like at the beginning of the day? <laughs> uh, then we'd have it turn off at say nine o'clock, something like that. All right, I don't know if that'll work or not. What do you guys think? Ooh, well, let me save it. Why can't I save it? Oh, dictionary value at action data. So this service data, really? It won't let me turn it on because of this? Light turn on, light LEDs. What? Doing a backup of you right now. You can experiment with you with the anniversary stuff. Okay, cool. HA dashboard? No, I still use HA dashboard. Sure do. Every minute of the condition time. Great. Okay. Moved all your automations to Node Red, yeah. Well, maybe we can try this again in in Node Red in a minute or something. From Portugal, oh Portuguese in England, oh Portuguese in England. What's up? What's the topic today, Pedro? Hey, Pedro, 
Were you the one that introduced me to um, to BH on Ofreeze? I can't remember if that was you or not. Preset 5, okay? I don't know. Preset 5, I think, is okay. I think it's this one. Is it? Expected dictionary value at data action 1 data. So I think it's expecting me to put something in here. I don't know what it would want me to put in there. This is the problem with this doing these. I don't do this in here very often. I would write it. Well, thank you for doing that, Pedro. Thank you for introducing me to, to BHNO free. Do you still do you still um talk to Bruno a lot? I do. Me and Bruno are homies. Maybe you should set the trigger to motion detection to define the condition using the anniversary sensor. You could do that too. No, it was me that presented you the BHNO free. Oh, Victor did. <laughs> Victor and Pedro. No, it was me. It was me. <laughs> No need for service data light turn on as long as the entity ID is set. Yeah, that's what I thought. But it's telling me that it needs something. I malformed something. It won't let me save it. Uh, let's see. What if I... If I get rid of... What if I put it here as entity ID? I don't use this very much. Not it. Action zero. Oh gosh. So maybe it is. Maybe this is zero. Okay. It it doesn't like that's what it is, then it doesn't like my um doesn't like that option five. You're right, whoever said that. I think that's what it is. Why does it keep doing this? Why does it keep doing this? They're all lights. Good grief. What? Oh, this thing's giving me grief. Killing me here. And it keeps like adding stuff and sending me back up here. What the? What the hey, eh? How's it going, bud? Same hi. Hi. This is driving me nuts. It's angry about something. There. Ah, gosh. So it must be this down here that it doesn't like. Uh, but it probably needs to be, do I need to say like option and then, and then probably the whole thing. Oh, it popped in there itself. I didn't put that in there. Probably doesn't need quotes, but... Oh, there we go. Oh, it let me save it. It let me save it. BH gate version 2 is almost perfect. It needs to have PoE version. Option guesswork. It's like a game. Do you feel lucky, punk? <laughs> Just turn a simple light to start. Option, yep, yeah. set the trigger type to state. If I set the trigger type to state instead of numeric state. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, it just happened. Where'd it go? Okay, I saved it. So here's what we can do. Now that it's saved, I suppose I have to... Uh, reload the uh, the automations, right? So it's not going to show up in, well, it might show up here, but uh, reload automations. And then we'll just trigger it and we'll see what happens. A lot of nights finding bugs. 
Does anyone use an Odroid booting for SSD? Can you explain how they did it? I, I, that'd be great to find out. I don't, I don't know about that. Get the base running. Set it to one. Okay, maybe we'll try that in a minute. Uh-oh, failed to call service automation reload undefined. What? It's gonna be one of those streams, huh? Okay, there's the automation, it's on. So let's execute it. Okay, turn the lights on. All right, so then the real question is, Paul is a new subscriber, he gets unicorns. All your bases belong to us. <laughs> uh, auto reload with every save, do they? Okay, that, do they four tracks? That'd be great if they did. How you doing by the way, man? Let's see this in CES. Maybe we've talked and I can't imagine. Uh-oh. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Trigger state type set to zero. Okay. Um, we can do that, right? So now we can go to the sensor. Um, oh, we can set the state here, right? So now we can do the sensor and grace. This will be the other way to check the actual trigger. Grace's birthday. And today the state is five. So what if we set it to, well, let's turn the lights all off first. So we can see if it comes back on. How many home assistant windows can you have open at once? Is there a record? <laughs> do you want to know what the line? Yeah, I do know what it is, Camilla. I do. I know where it is. I just haven't. I, this was just easy. And I wanted to show this one off because I thought this one was really cool too. This is one that um, one M Tech made. And it's my new favorite. I really like it. Just nice and simple and bold. You can see it. Sonoff TX. What's the TX? Oh, yeah. For a new house. Uh, I don't know if I'd say the Sonoff TX is the best switch if you're building new switches in your house. Sorry, just joined, but I'm running the hacks add-on called. Oh, that's what we're doing, Mark. That's exactly what we're doing. So do you use, um, Mark, do you use for the state? Do you use the state as a numeric state? For the sensor, when you're triggering the sensor, is it a numeric state or is it just a state? And if it's a state instead of numeric, then can you do a range or do you have to do like separate triggers for each state? Like if you wanted it to come on at like, if you want it to come on at like, um, you know, three days before and two days before and the day before and the day of, how would you set that up as the trigger? That's what we're working on. Um, so I was here looking for something I can't remember. <laughs> we were setting the state and, oh, I was going to turn the lights off first. There, now they're off. So if I set the state to see, but the, the, yeah, you're right. It might, it might not check it. Correct. And it's not the right time. So this probably won't work. Just add multiple triggers. I'm going to bet. Where is Jenny? Jenny, we need you. State change for anniversary sensor might be at midnight. Yeah, that's I think you're right, Whiskers. How's it going, by the way? Thanks for being here, buddy. Hey, uh, we got to do, we got to do, um, WireGuard add-on. I want to start a new, a new, uh, um, home assistant dev on Proxmox and then do WireGuard add-on for everybody. Oh, well, how much time? We haven't been at this very long. We could do that still. Should I have a squirrel riding a unicorn? I'm going to work on that, Tom. I'm going to work on that. 
How you doing, by the way? Tom's been around for a long time, haven't you, Tom? I think Tom's been watching my video since a, a long time. A long time. And he hasn't changed his profile picture. <laughs> That's why I know. <laughs> so multiple triggers probably, huh? Because if you have, so let's look at a sensor that has a numeric, uh, a numeric readout. And so this, the state there is in gray. And if we go to still in gray, what if we go to something like, and that's still gray. So that doesn't really tell us. How do we find out if it's a numeric state or not? Hmm. Hey, Miko, Christopher, what you asking about? Thanks for the stickers. I'm glad you got them. Glad you got them. Game for helping with the WireGuard add-on. Okay, cool. Um, maybe we can do that. I would love to do that. We can do an install. We can do the VM, the LXC install real quick, right? And just start up a new Home Assistant install. Would that work? Dumbbot's not working anymore. Yeah. The only bot that's working now is the, the uh, night bot should be working. I hope the night bot stopped working. We're in double trouble. Yeah. Night bot is working, but the, uh, the other one, the, the um, Bottissimo, he gave up the ghost. I don't know. I, maybe it was a free thing or maybe I was it paying. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, this is cool though. This is from, this is the, uh, YouTube sensor. If you guys aren't using this to get a uh, notification of when I'm streaming or not streaming, this is the YouTube sensor. I have one for Frank also. It'll either be offline or it'll be, or it'll say streaming. And then you can use that state to trigger, you know, a light to come on in your house or something. And to get that, I think you need, you need some number about the channel and, but you can get those somewhere. Can't remember where. <laughs> Anyways, I don't think we're going to be able to set the state. I, we can try it, but I don't think it's going to work. Um, because of a, a few things probably, uh, first being, it's not the right time of day for the automation. Um, So anyways, uh, well, I'll have to see, I mean, it's her birthday right now. So what I'll have to do is just report back tonight. Uh, well, not tonight. It won't be till tomorrow that it might come on at night. So use the Twitch sensor. That's cool. Maybe am I using the Twitch sensor? I can't remember. Brian just subscribed. We're back to the planes with the coolest song ever. Android app for notifications. Just change the birthday to today. Okay. That would be a smart thing to do. Carlo, you dang genius. Can I change it right here? Oh, but even then it's not the time. So I'd have to go in there and change the time. I can't really set that. I can't, can I change that like that? That won't work, right? You can't change it right there. That'd be crazy. This is certainly a stream where I show off the way I do things, which is not usually the right way, but it gets, I sometimes get it done. Hopefully there's an entertainment value in here for you. Anniversaries, uh, is it not going to list them. It's not going to list them. Oh, there it is. It's right there. Grace's birthday. And then I can change the settings here. Nope. Four and then back to five. Device, manufacturer, model, area, integration, battery. Guess I can't. Oh, there it is. Good. All right. So up here. So if you wanted to change the options, so you have a birthday sensor set, you want to change it, you hit the gear up here and it gives you this. Now I can change this to today. 
or let's change it to tomorrow because we weren't sure about the day of. Eh, screw it. Change it to today. Okay. And then we got to go back and change that automation because the automation condition, we're just going to take out that condition for now. Uh, can I, there's not a way to change it here, right? No. So we got to go back here. Automations, automations. Looks like the way I do it. Stumble around hoping for the best. I think if you're afraid to do this, if you don't do anything until you know exactly how to do it, you'll never do anything <laughs> or the things that you'll do will be very limited. Right. You got to just bounce around sometimes and go, well, I don't know. I don't know. And I apologize to anybody who's telling me exactly what to do in the chat because I, I wish I could focus on all that, but we know, we already know, um, huh? that that's really difficult <laughs> for me, especially. So I, if you've been, if you've been screaming at me in the chat, it's just do this, you dummy. I apologize. I, I wish I, I wish I could filter that better, but it's, yeah, it's what I can do. Okay. We're going to, we're going to find Grace's thing here. Grace's birthday. We're going to edit it. And we're just going to take out this condition. I'm just going to delete that condition. I'm not sure the condition would work anyways. So we're going to save it. And you guys think that when you save it there, it just reloads the automations automatically. That would be great. I would love it if it did. It might, since it takes a minute, right? It's just kind of hanging out here. And in a minute, it'll send us back. Oh, you know what? I was going to change the preset too, just to figure it out. I figured out eventually. Then the next time I have it. Discord. James is James is yelling at me in Discord. All right, all right, all right. I got it. I got it. People are overwhelmed by Lovelace. They should try this. Has kit. Very easy to set up and do backgrounds. Okay, cool. Um, uh, that was this link you gave me, right? So J, J After Dark here, James, um, says if you're overwhelmed by Lovelace and you want something that can build... Uh, some interface for you uh, quickly. I haven't, I've tried this for, I tried it for a few minutes. I didn't get very far with it, but that's the story for a lot of things. Doesn't mean anything's wrong with it. Uh, so I will post this and you guys can check it out. So for those of you who want to try and have something sort of pre-built from your entities instead of uh, kind of doing it all yourself with Lovelace, but let's see. Okay. Okay. Anniversary integrates easily with Node Red. Oh, okay. Excellent. All right, so it looks like. I wonder, do you think it? Do you think it reloaded the automations? I guess the way to tell. Well, let's try and see. We'll try and see. So. I still don't know what we need to do. That would would that that wouldn't just they wouldn't just kick on because the, it's not checking the date again just yet, right? You sent me your example. Okay, great. Oh, that is easy. I still got to think node red. I got to think in node red. Oh, okay. Mark's got something here. Okay, so... So what you got here, Mark, is... Sensor, allow Grace birthday lights. Value template, set today, sensor date. Will that use the date? You're welcome, Cerebral Dad. What's your other What's your other tag? I don't recognize uh, Cerebral Dad. You must go by something else on whatever pl platform I was helping you on. <laughs> It will be true three days before her birthday and three days after. Okay. Not like this, not like this. Well, anyways, did we get anywhere? Oh, it is Cerebral Dad. Okay, well, where did I help you then? Did I help you on Discord or YouTube or what? All right. Uh, let's look and see. Let's see what it says, if we can look at it here and have it. Um, yeah, it did. It updated it here. No, no, that's the last triggered time. Um, I mean, I know. 
Oh, here's the sensor. Filter status zero. Okay, so we know the sensor is updated. The trouble is still, I don't know how that trigger is going to work. I think I would just set different triggers. All right. Hey, Nick, thank you. Fist bump. That's cool. <laughs> I hope that shows up on the stream somewhere. Oh, the input source versus input select. Oh, okay, well, that was easy. Thank you, Nick, very much. That's awesome. I wish the little fist bump guy would show up, but I guess everybody can see that in the chat, so that's cool. All right. Well, let's see. Question for anyone. Is there a way to reset your home system config without disconnecting your Pi? That's a that's an interesting question, Vanessa. What are you doing? Use it as a as a condition, not a trigger. Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, so you would set the time of day, right? Um, and you know what would be fun? I don't know. I guess you'd still have to do it. So what would be what I would have? So I would go into now. Let's do this the way I would do it, because I I tried using the uh, the visual version of the uh, automations, right? But this is where I would go because this is, it's what I know. And it's, I, I'm just not at node red yet. I will be very soon or blade will probably stop being my friend. <laughs> no birthday lights. So what I would have here is instead of, so I would change this to a different preset for each person's birthday. I would set the time or the trigger would just be a time so that every day at a certain time, in fact, I should just set it as sunset, right? So every day at sunset, uh, the lights are going to come on. My neighbors are going to hate it because it means every single day we're celebrating something. <laughs> well, it doesn't have to be every day, but set the, set the, uh, time as the trigger. And then in the condition, you set the sensors um, for each, you could set it for each person's birthday if you only wanted the same lights to come on, the same effect for each birthday. Or you could just have a different automation for each birthday where the condition is different for their anniversary birthday date, whether that sensor's true or, or zero or whatever. Uh, and then the preset would change so that different kids could have different lights. Cause my kids, they're all going to want different, different colors. It's not going to be really, really that, uh, they're not going to like it if it's the same. Use data template. Yep. I could probably do that too. We need somebody. Best temps for pet G. Ooh, I don't know about that one. It's good to see me tinker. Well, good. I'm glad. Did I watch Frank stream this week? I wish I could have. I didn't. It's going near impossible to break home assistant if you have new safe mode. Nice. Wow. Good work, Frank. Please create an automation that would trigger a notify message when you start streaming live. Um, I can show you the one I have for Frank. Did I take it out? Offline. When he goes from streaming. Where's the one for two streaming? I may have taken it off. Two streaming. Here it is. So this is it right here. This is it. Uh, I can't, I can post it in the, I'll post it in the discord, uh, live stream channel. Cause that's, I can post it as code in there. So that's what I have now that requires that you have a, the Frank sensor set up. So let's look at the Frank sensor. Hey buddy. How was it? Good. Oh, it was a good day for it. It was a good day for it. So it looks like I've got it through Twitch. So the platform, so this is a new, this is a sensor and the platform is Twitch. And then you have to have a Twitch, your Twitch ID, probably something you had to do. I don't remember what the platform setting is for that. 
how you have to get to that point, but that's what you do there. And then pick those channels and then it will set those sensors. Uh, and then the state of the sensor when somebody's streaming is streaming. Oh, I do. I do have it already on mine. Oh, please create an automation that would trigger a notify message when you start streaming live. Oh, well then what you need? What do you need? You need the notify message? Spelled his name wrong. Oh, that's probably why. Hey, Brennan. What's up with the title, Cerebral Dad? I was going to go to China and now I'm obviously not because nobody is. <laughs> I had a trip planned to for China in two weeks. See you, James. You have the sensors. Okay. So what you need is the notify then. You know, the most recent, if, if you watched, oh, you have the sensor, not the automation. Okay. Well, good. Then I just sent you the automation, right? If you go to Discord, uh, I just posted the automation. Um, the autom But that automation just turns a light on. If you want, if you want to do a notification, um, you can look in here and see what a notify, but notifications, if you're doing, are you doing iPhone? Yeah, exactly. Oh no, not this one. We want it here. Um, so that doesn't, this one doesn't work anymore. Work at that one. This one works to send me a message on my phone. Nick again. Oh man. What's everybody, what's everyone's day job? That'd be fun to list. What do you guys do for a living? All of you. Go ahead. Shout it out. List it out. You know me, I'm an anesthesiologist. Although I'm hoping to make this my day job. It's going to be a while, but. <laughs> someday cool automation trigger at nine o'clock platform condition condition state entity blue okay cool oh man valcob can you put because it cut some of that off can you post that in discord muse oh denim maker and musician nice you do great work learn so much from your video for all levels i appreciate you well doing others you are the man. What's everyone's their job? <laughs> I love Frank's. I'm a home assistant. Assistant? <laughs> Nuclear operator? Are you kidding, Kelvin? Really? Like at a power plant or on a submarine or what? That's awesome. Flight instructor? Got a lot of IT guys. Java developer? Electronics engineer? Okay, that, you know, if I was a guy that got intimidated, which I'm generally not, but if I got intimidated... I would be intimidated trying to do tech stuff for a lot of people who are tech professionals. <laughs> Retired engineer. I'm an aspiring engineer. Lighting design engineer. Commission start IoT lighting control systems. Oh, cool. Love this community. The lowest nerd here. <laughs> We're all iOS developer. Very cool, Duncan. Marine engine electronics. Fire captain. Awesome. Raspy house father. Oh, cool. Bart. So you got a sugar mama. Is that okay to say? Not going to offend anybody sugar, or offend her retired land. I'm on my way there too. That's what I'm dive master. Awesome. GSE mechanic. What's GSE? What's GSE? Tyson unemployed. Again? You just got, does that not work out? That thing you were doing? Phlebotomist. Oh, cool. Richard's a phlebotomist. He's a vampire. He goes roaming around at night, sucking people's blood from the hospital, right? <laughs> Seamus, Scotland. That's just your, that's your career. <laughs> Ground support equipment at the airport. Oh, cool. Late messing with a new 3D printer. Nice. Long too, what'd you get? Gone too long. What'd you get? Vanessa. Oh, there you go. Vanessa's looking to hire you, Tyson. <laughs> Architect, hairdresser. Nice. <laughs> Retired military crime investigator. Holy cool. You probably have some stories, huh? People ask me about stories all the time. Tell stories about the operating room. Tell stories about the operating room. And I remember some, but I 
I forget them pretty quickly. If somebody starts reminding me they're like, Oh yeah, remember that time this happened? Um, and I, I can usually then remember, but, uh, like I have a good friend that's always like, Oh, Hey, I saw, I saw Tyson. Um, Hey, tell me a good story from the OR. And I'm like, I, I. so when they happen, like right away, then I have to t- text him. Oh, I had a story today. <laughs> remind, remind me to tell you about this. <laughs> Yes, we are listening, Edgar. People just, uh, somebody asked, what does everybody do for a living? And so we said, sure, let's just pop it in there because that's fun. Get to know everybody a little bit. We got a lot of different, a lot of different talents here. I mean, everything you can imagine. Am I a real doctor? I am, Dave. I am Dave Davies. And I'm surprised I haven't told you that before because I know we've chatted before. But yep, I am an anesthesiologist. I went to medical school at the University of Michigan. Residency for anesthesia training at the University of Virginia. And I've been working here in Utah as an anesthesiologist for nine years. Own part-time doing graphic design. Oh yeah, Brandon, I've seen you, you did some, oh, you know what? I still have never used that little house with the squirrel in it. You made me, sorry about that. Computer engineer, water and light designer. Really? Do you have, what do you show us some of your stuff there? Live art. That sounds cool. Water and light designer, master technician, Car machine. Oh, cool. Own part-time. Okay. Uh, Can you fix your heartburn and home assistant? Yeah. (laughs) I mean, for heartburn, I'll just tell you, take some Prilosec (laughs) and go see somebody because it's possible that that you have something curable. Um, And heartburn for a long period of time can really uh, screw up your esophagus and cause you to come see me for surgery, which you don't want. And uh, and then, yes, we can help you with home system too. Omeprazole. Yep. <laughs> Check that. Uh, factory worker. Let's vote on the coolest job and give stickers to them. Okay. You, know, you guys want to do that? I would love. So what I wanted to do, I know we talked about it last time and I looked into it a little bit and I put a little bit of stuff. Oh, Mathis is a chef. That's awesome. On disability, anxiety, person. Ah, oh, that's a bummer. Finn. Well, we're glad you're here. We're glad you're here. Uh, as for jobs, product. Disability designer. Nice. Oh, hey, Mark Sutton. How are you? Another guy that I've seen for a long time. I got, we got a lot of old friends here today. A lot of new friends, old friends, in between friends, middle friends. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh, the, the poll. So I could do a poll through Nightbot, but to do a poll, I have to put in a few options. What I would really like to see is just have, you can show that one. Uh, what I would like to do is be able to have everybody just vote. You just put in, you know, people's names and have it keep track of each name. I, I vote for Pinky Wafer for stickers for sure. Since she did this anniversary thing, diaper changer friends and even friends with chicken pox, man, Jeff, you are a friend indeed. Friends that need to like the video. Oh, like the video. Like, 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 like still in school. Booze moo. What are you studying? Blown away that Dr. Z is an MD and a geek. <laughs> poll on the live stream, poll channel Discord. Well, maybe we can do it in Discord. Let's put a like on this video. Humanity is restored. <laughs> Mobile staging for concerts. Oh, Rich, that sounds cool. You know, we used to, there used to be a guy, John, you guys remember his last name? I haven't seen him around in a while. He, he was a, I don't know if he was a bouncer or manager, owner, bartender, whatever, at a, at a gentleman's club. <laughs> and he was, I know he was doing a lot of stuff with like lights and automations and stuff in the, in the club, in the bar. And so that was fun. <laughs> Your stickers arrived, Dave. Fantastic. Polson's a pilot. We had a pilot. We got a flight instructor up there. We got fireman. Man, I can't even remember everybody now. Victor, every Dr. Z's videos are material for likes. <laughs> All right. Um, what were we going to do? I need a drink. Thirsty. I want to see, can we do something that I want to do? How long have I been live? You can do uh, exclamation point uptime, and I think it will tell you. 
Edgar. Why don't you test it? Uh, but I'll tell you ahead of time. It's been about an hour and 10 minutes. I think I started about one o'clock my time. Um, I would like to do the, would you guys, are you guys pretty interested in WireGuard at the add on WireGuard? Or is that not, that not, if it's not, if it's only like a few people that are interested, most people are like, eh, no big deal. Then we can just, we can keep on doing something else. But that's one that's been on my mind because it's been so, it's been working so well for me lately. Uh, and I'm really happy about it. Um, one of the reasons I managed to stay home. All right. Well, I'm glad I'll stay with home assistant. Love your kind. Well, thank you very much, Finn. I'm happy to be here for you. Yes. WireGuard would be good. Shows under the video stream on YouTube. Oh, thank you, James, for pointing them at that. WireGuard is good. YouTube description shows how long you started streaming. Oh, okay, cool. That's good too. Have it running. It's great. WireGuard, WireGuard, 320 watching. Ooh, we are getting close to the record. Oh boy, we better do something good. All right, let's do it. Whiskers, my man. Whiskers, whiskers, whiskers. Come to my rescue. I want to bring whiskers on. Can we do that, brother? Where's he at? What's the record? I don't know what the record is. I think it's like 370 or maybe 350. I don't know. I forgot. Somewhere around 350. Here's the good thing, Pedro, is if we do this, we do this here, that gives me the material that I need. And then I can, I can chop that up and make a, make a video about it. Smash that like button, guys. Thank you, Father Time. Did you see the bug update, Father Time? Did you see it? Sir, good enough. Did you guys see it? The bug update. Little man with a full suit of armor and a pike stands there silently, making sure nothing attacks your wires. That's right. <laughs> All right. Initiate the voice call, and I'll join. Excellent. Okay, I'm gonna put my headset on so that I can hear whiskers, and he can hear me. Okay, let's do it. And then you guys will have to verify that Whiskers can be heard. You there? I'm here. You got me. I got gotcha. you. Can you guys hear Whiskers? Uptime no longer works. Okay. Well, what we'll have to do for tracks is switch it over to, I think it's because it was on that other, that other dang uh, bot that stopped working. So we'll switch it over. You hear him. Okay, perfect. And then as we're talking, you guys can tell us if we need to change volumes on things because sometimes... Sometimes when I put guests on the volumes higher or lower, it's funky. So, all right, so let's do this. Let's start whiskers. Let's start with a, uh, the Proxmox, um, LXC, uh, has IO, or I guess I should just say home assistant install. You got a pretty simple way to do that, right? Yep. I'm going to send you the link. Okay, perfect. So for somebody who was doing, uh, Home Assistant new. This is a, and if you're, if you're using Proxmox, this is a, a nifty way to do it. Okay. Create a new LXC container on Proxmox and set up HassIO to run inside of it. Run the following SSH connection or Proxmox web shell. Okay. Let's do this. Get this over here. And you just, you just point me along the way, Whiskers, as I'm going. Okay. You see um, me do you have a way to back. share your screen so I can? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. Let, let me do that. There it goes. Uh, uh, Frank's giving this warning here. Hold on about something about the supervisor. Okay. Okay. We're going to back up on that in just a minute. Uh, I've got this already installed here. This home assistant dev. Let's just start that one up. Might save us a step. We'll, we'll have to come back to this at another, another point for that part. All right. Can everybody see that? Okay. All right. So I've got this and now this is a new, this is a development home assistant here already. 
I'm sure I need to update this. Oop. Not running or it's just not up yet? Oh, there it goes. Welcome. So when it's this old, I'm not sure I remember how to update it. <laughs> uh, general. So wait, there should be a HasIO tab. So what's up with this? Why is HasIO tab not showing me anything? Huh. I don't know what to do about this. If the HasIO tab's not showing me anything, I kind of don't know where to go next. Anybody got any reason why the HasIO tab would be blank? Hmm. Nothing? Okay. Is there any other way to update it? Reboot? Okay. This is like version 0.87. The supervisor is stopped? Okay. Turn on advanced. Oh, maybe that's what I have to do. It's under, where is that? User. This doesn't even have, this isn't even old enough to have users. Oh, it's up here. Refresh, long live, push, password. See how long it's been since I did this? Still not there. Can't connect to Proxmox. Up top. Okay, theme push. Login as admin. Can oh go in SSH? Oh, can I update it that way? Oh, well, this went downhill in a hurry, didn't it? <laughs> there might be a way to use the HASIO CLI if you go to okay. Crossmox and bring up okay. the And then I can open the console here like that. Yeah. And if you uh, log in, uh, is this a, I don't know. I don't know. The password's going to be root. Okay. All right. All right. And if you hit enter, it should give you a list. of. Okay, sweet. Is there a way to do an update this way? Um, there's supervisor and home assistant. I there. I think you can update it through this. I'm not familiar with it though. Has I O H A update? Somebody said. I don't see very much there. Okay, let's just do that. Has I O H A update? Is it? Is it a dash or anything? Is it two words? H A update. Try just H A update. Oh, there's some. All right. This should only take a half an hour or so. <laughs> Thank you.
Turn it off and turn it back on again. Yeah, that's a good idea. Love the fact that I do this live. Mistakes, trial and error is the best way to learn. Well, I'm glad nobody minds. Hopefully it's doing something. Evening. How's it going, sci-fi? Sci-fi sci. Well, I also need to run the supervisor update. Okay. This, this looks like it's just kind of stuck. Is there a way to see what this is doing? It, it's actually working. It's um Okay. It, okay. It's... Because of the way that home, uh, Hass.io works, it's all Docker stuff. Um, okay. It's pulling down new uh, uh, images in the background and, and, and stuff. So it's it's still working. Oh, there it goes. Something happened. Okay. We'll get there. We'll get there. Eco-terrorist, what we're going to do is the uh, WireGuard add-on. It's pretty awesome. Spent the weekend splitting up your config file. Have I done mine? Mark, uh, I started to. James helped me out, but I ran into some errors, and then I started tracking some of them down, and then I didn't. It's a home assistant blind date. Oh, command completed successfully. Now, to update the supervisor, I think you can type su space update. Version 195 is already in use. So maybe that's all we need. So should we just restart it then from here? So restart uh, try refreshing the, the URL on that uh, Home Assistant. See if that... Oh, yeah. Something's happening. Oh, there's advanced mode now. Turn that on. Okay, great. There we go. Okay, now we are on... It doesn't tell me what version of... Has OS is 2.9, so there's the update button that you can click under the hose. Okay. And that will update the operating system. But I believe you have to do... I don't know if it automatically reboots, but you will have to do a reboot for it to... Doesn't tell me what version of home of uh, SIO it is, but that's okay. yeah, under the supervisor one nine five. Oh, I guess I was looking for the you know version zero point one zero four point four whatever we're on. That's what I was looking that's for. Was looking for. Oh, you, yeah, for what version of Home Assistant you're running? Yeah. In this log, under the system log, down at the bottom, it'll actually tell you what version it's running. We'll have to it's doing its it's doing its updation. I'm not gonna have anything for a minute. But actually we're back we can go back here for Close some extra tabs. Uh, looks like it's back. Three point yeah, eight. Yeah, now the hassle is three point eight. And then we're good there. We're good there. And we're on one hundred four point three. Okay, cool. All right, now we've got it. So this is an empty version of Home Assistant, brand new, the latest version. We're going to go to Hassio and Add-on Store and find WireGuard. And Frank, the master man, we're going to install this. I guess I'm going to need a device to uh, make the uh, client. But we'll start it on here first. Okay, so that's all I did. 
Go to WireGuard, install, start. Oh, I shouldn't have started it yet. Let me stop it. <laughs> I need to go down here first. Okay. Uh, there's a few things that we need here. Host, you're going to need a duck DNS address, right? So, uh, you know, I used to have a bunch of these. Uh, I think. These are just, these were just pretend. Nope. I guess I don't really have these anymore. Well, if you go to DuckDNS, I guess we can make one. You end up with a local version. Uh, well, what somebody's going to, if so for somebody who's setting this up on their own, right? That's our target here. Uh, the thing to do is to go to duck DNS and set up a new one, right? Um, now if I do that here, it's going to show stuff I probably don't want to, but anyways, you sign in, you set a domain, a URL that's specific for you. And it will link that URL, which will be like whatever your name is or whatever you want it to be, .duckdns.org. And it will link that with your home network's public IP address. Okay. And if your public IP address changes, the URL doesn't have to change. So it depends on your internet service provider, how often your, your uh, network or your, your public IP address will change, but it shouldn't be very long. So for now, for me, for this, I guess we can just use our local one. Frank is saying, let me just use the local. So that would be, that would be the home system? What would that be? What is... So what we can do is use... Let's just use, host. let's use, I mean, I have, I have, I don't care if anybody knows my... Duck DNS, honestly. I just I knew I had them. Let's see. Uh no, because gosh, we just did this the other day. Huh, that's funny. Okay. Sure enough. I still have one that's just Dr. Z, so we're just gonna use that. Okay. So in here you're gonna put your duck DNS. Oops. Once you made it. There. Great. And then the address here, this is going to be the address of the host, right? So this will be... This, will be, this a, is the IP address that the WireGuard application will use to communicate between the server and the client. Great. Okay. So... Is it safe to say, or is it fair to say that this is the server IP address? It's like, the server not, IP it's, address it's, through the it, WireGuard tunnel. The yes. one, one thing that needs to be in, uh, imperative is that this is an address that is not on a network on either end. Otherwise, the routing, you'll have problems with routing between the two devices. So if you what you want to make sure is that this is not part of what the IP address is of the uh, the actual devices. So like you're you you have your network at home, and for me it's one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot whatever for the different devices, right? This can't be that. Those first three numbers here have to be different than that. And I guess that that is true on the client end as well. So say you're at McDonald's using the free Wi-Fi. Uh, it's going to give you an IP address. It's got to not be those same three numbers to start that IP address. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. Okay. So we're going to leave this. That seems like a rare enough IP configuration or whatever you call these. These are uh, the subnet or something, unique subnet. Okay. Okay. Uh, network ID is, is another term for it, but yeah. 
Okay. So we're going to make sure that that's unique and it isn't part of what is going to be the IP address in your home network or wherever you're connecting from. Then DNS, we don't need anything here, do we? Uh, no, not for the home assistant. This is kind of going to be our, our tunnel into our home network. So that's not required on the client end. We will need to set that, but not for the home assistant. Okay. And then down here for the peer, this is the, this is the, they say peers. I think it, the term I think of is client, but peer is going to be whatever device is going to connect th uh, to this, um, to our home network. So this will be if you have a laptop or if you have a phone or if you're at uh, your grandma's house and you want your, you want that computer to be able to connect, that's what this is gonna be. So we're gonna make this, I have a, uh, we'll do this with this little Pixel phone that I have. So it's a, it's a phone and I'm just gonna name it Pixel. All right, then the address, we're basically assigning another, an IP address uh, in this same, uh, subnet here, right? So we've got the same three numbers here, but it's a different device. So it's got a different number at the end. Is that fair? Yes, correct. Okay. And then what do we need for allowed IPs and client allowed IPs? Do we need something special need something in there? So there? under allowed IPs, I'm thinking that one can be empty. Okay. Uh, but for the okay. client allowed IPs, that's where we're going to set up. What is, what does the client have? Uh, what do you want the client to be able to connect to? Do you want it to connect to only the private network or do you want to route all the traffic through the, through the tunnel? Let's go with all the traffic to start with. So then in the client allowed IPs, it would be. That's going to be zero dot zero dot zero dot zero slash zero. Okay. Oh, okay. Frank even says if you leave them, if you leave them both blank, you'll end up having them all. Uh, it'll be it's the same as having it as all zeros. So it'll be if you leave it blank, it defaults to all the traffic going through. Going through. Okay. So without anything in there, everything from the pixel will come to the house first and then we'll go out to the universe, All right? Okay. Correct. Uh, and then do we need this WireGuard peers status API? Do we need anything here for host? So I'm not familiar with what that provides. Um, it's not required to, to make the WireGuard tunnel work. Okay. So then we're probably done. So all I really oh, did here was put in my, my duck DNS address up here and I changed the name of the client. That's all I did. That's all I did. We, we need to add a, uh, the, the public key for the client that right. we are right. setting up for. Did you hear that? That was my neck. Okay. So where do we, how do we do that? Remind me. So on the, on the phone, um, once you have the WireGuard app downloaded and you go to create the tunnel, it'll, you can tell it to generate a. a All right. So I got the phone. Oh gosh. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh Okay. 
So on the phone, this is probably not going to work out this way. I should have I should have prepped this sent a link more. for okay. an application that you can use to mirror your screen, your Android screen onto your Windows computer and you can actually interact with it so you can type in copy and paste and stuff. Ooh, that's useful. I haven't even finished setting this thing up yet. Okay, so let's see. Windows. <laughs> well, I think this one might work. I'll bet you this one that I've been using will work too. Let's see if we can find it. I'm sorry to put you on the spot like this, Will. I, I, uh, this is probably, we probably should plan this a little better. Cancel the update. Because this phone, like, now it wants to do an update and I'm not signed into Google and it's just not bad luck getting that going on a Pixel. Oh, really? Link to the Android app. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. All right, we'll give this a few more minutes, and then I think I I'm I'm feeling the uh, I'm feeling like this is going to be better if we do it um, a little more planned. I'm sure you could pull it off, but um, oh man, I don't even know the password. Oh. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm. This isn't ready on my end. Dang. Okay. I promised more than I could deliver. I'm just going to, I'm going to, let's, Whiskers, let's me and you do this. Um, we'll do it and we'll record it and then we'll put together a video about it when I'm, when I'm more set up. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. No worries. We can do that. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. That was uh, one of those things you decide to do live that probably needed a little bit more prep. And that's just on my end here. I just don't have some of the things set up that I should have had set up. Um, but basically, well, the instructions are there. We'll we'll come back to this. We'll get it going. Uh, what happened to doing Node Red with Anniversary? We started doing, um, oh, there you go. I didn't know you did that, Frank. We oh, love man. the internet, but the internet is tracking everything you do. With IP Vanish on your device, your internet activity. Oh, gosh. Oh, I just lost my chat because I clicked a link to YouTube and it, I don't know. Anyways, post that in the chat, did you? Yeah, he did. Okay, good. Okay. Anyways, let's, uh, let me get my chat back up here. Well, the, the, the WireGuard add-on, I know we talked about this before, but just for anybody who uh, hasn't. Bonjour found a reason to use it or or whatever it has been it's been working great and it was it was despite this current fumblings it's been it was super easy to get going and uh, I've got it set now so that whenever I am not at home if I pull up one of my device IP addresses on my phone or my laptop from anywhere it will connect to that device but if I want to go to YouTube or check email or something, it doesn't have to route all that through the house. I have the option to open up a different tunnel, I guess. It's probably the right way to say it. Um, and once we get that, uh, and, and if you open up a different tunnel where everything is through that uh, tunnel, then all the traffic would be through the VPN. So that was a good, uh, my plan for China. So when I was there, I was going to just, if I needed to get to something that I couldn't get to, as long as I could, as long as they would let me connect to my house, I should be able to do that through, through the VPN and through WireGuard. So, but anyways, <laughs> okay, um, let's do, cause I know I hear my, I hear rumblings down in the, uh, the living room about getting ready for Super Bowl, uh, stuff. So let's start doing whatever we're going to do to pick some sticker winners today. 
You guys want to come up with some stuff? Whiskers, I'm going to let you go for now. Okay, buddy? We'll hang yeah, this up. Great. I was just going to send you a message. Okay. Hey, thanks a lot. And you know I appreciate everything. I'll uh we'll we'll talk again. We'll do it right. Thanks, man. <laughs> Good times. Good times. Uh whiskers for stickers. How about for people named Chris? I saw Christopher in here. I haven't seen Christopher in forever. Route all my traffic through your home because I can add guard too. That's a good idea. You know, it just depends on how, how you want to do it. I, I think having the option of both is perfect. Because uh, if I don't think about it and if I don't want to do anything with it, Whiskers is one that walked me through this and got me set up the, when I did it, when I set this up or he set it up with me like a week ago or something. And uh, it was perfect. And I thought, oh yeah, that was so easy. We'll just slam that in. And I just not ready. I should have been. Anyways. Her anniversary plugin is great. Pinky wins. I vote for that as well. Pinky gets stickers. Should we pick one more? Let's vote. We'll do Pinky and somebody. And uh, all right, have to go to the Super Bowl. See ya, KOA Pro and Whiskers. That sounds good to me. Any other nominations? <laughs> Ray, video from Frank is really good. I I thought I, I got to see that again. I need what I need to do is copy it and paste it somewhere. Not in this because that's what lost my chat. I need to pop that out and watch it. How long ago did you do that video, Frank? Because I don't remember. I remember when this came out. Maybe I tried it then. I can't remember. Anyways. WireGuard add-on, it's awesome. And uh, if, you, if you didn't think you needed a VPN, you do. Because <laughs> even simple things for me, like being able to get in and, and change WLED stuff or getting into a um, you know, specific Tasmoda device or looking at your IP cameras without opening a port other than the VPN port. Uh, I mean, I can, it was, it's seamless. It's perfect. So September, okay. Try to set up YouTube hacks in a future stream. Sure. I can see the logic, anything work. You know what? Now that I've got this, now that I've got this again and it's up to date, this, this is the, uh, you know, a generic hacks install. What I'll do is just, we'll poke around with this and we'll do little bits. Maybe every stream we'll do something to this. Like, you know, next time we'll set up the hacks store and then we'll, we'll just go from there or we'll set up, we'll do some lovely stuff. We'll do some, whatever people are asking about. I, I got confused about VPNs too, Mexico, Matt, which is why WireGuard has been much different than me or much different for me than, than when I was trying to use uh, other VPNs like OpenVPN or PyVPN, which was basically OpenVPN, I guess. WireGuard has been really simple. It really is a, a very short configuration on one end and a very short configuration on the other end. And they've got clients now for, for all kinds of devices, Mac, OS or Mac, uh, Windows, iPhone, Android. Um, and in those clients, it's really easy to configure. You just need a, um, you know, a couple of keys that it generates and you give one key, which key is a key is really just like a big, ugly password. And as long as they both have the same big, ugly password to, to compare, I guess, then you're, you're golden. You, you're trusted and you get in and you have access to whatever. So. Frank's voice is good as new. Awesome. First time to watch the stream. I have a real neck and shoulders. <laughs> You've been watching old videos. I've had a neck and shoulders for a little while. NordVPN has released a WireGuard version. Really? So they have a way, so they're using WireGuard to connect to their servers so that you can surf the world, I guess. So WireGuard on a Raspberry Pi would run as a server on your network. Yes. All right, so we'll do stickers for Pinky, and we will do stickers for, I need to make a note of that to myself, because I will forget. I know I've got both of their addresses. I'm pretty sure I've got Jenny's address. I know I've got Will's address. 
Speed of WireGuard is literally 10 times faster than Open OpenVPN. <laughs> Ask about his... Uh-oh. What happened to your doorbell this morning, Frank? I got to hear this. Can I use WireGuard without Home Assistant? Yes, Ray, you can. You can. And I... Um, well, here's what we'll do. Well, yeah. Last year, last year, about this time, when was the first time I was introduced to WireGuard. Whiskers was the man that introduced me to WireGuard and, and him and Adrian uh, went through a, um, a really good step-by-step -step kind of setup process for it on a Raspberry Pi to just run on its own. And I had that running for a long time and then I just stopped using it. It kind of, and then I used the Pi for something else. But at that time, um, there was a really nice step-by-step -step guide. It's probably still here. Oh, not wireguard.com. But anyways, I did a stream about it, and then I actually chopped up the stream into a smaller video. That was kind of what I was thinking this would turn into. Um, here we go. So I followed these instructions, and I'll, I'll post that video, the chopped up version of this at some point. But I, this is a, this is older, and I don't know how long how, how much updating it's undergone or how it would still work. It should still work reasonably well. You can see this is these are screenshots we used. <laughs> um, some things have probably changed a little, like on their client or on the the iOS client and such. But anyways, the basics is there. Send him my doorbell thing on Discord. His call to spill or not? Okay. <laughs> Let me see it. <laughs> That's funny. This is just a, a frank tweet. Set up an automation for your doorbell last night to decouple the button push from the chime during home silent hours and back on during the day. Seems innocent enough, right? Oh, I don't want the doorbell to be to be able to work at night. Well, somehow chose the wrong string entity, and at seven o'clock this morning, the doorbell starts going bing, 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 bing. <laughs> oh, see, guys, we all do it. We all do it. Oh, man. If it worked perfectly, it wouldn't be any fun. It wouldn't be nearly as much fun. So, okay. I'm going to call the kids for sign off. Let's see if this works. Come on, baby. Sometimes I notice the decons because it didn't work. I've had decons kind of go wackadoo on me here. I don't know if that's what it is or not. I need to just put a sign off button somewhere else too. Right where are we at? Oh, you know what happened? That happened. This happened with my sensors. My it changed the names of my stuff. And it might be because the cube changed. You know, the, um, because the the, the 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 cube changed as a device, so it probably it's activating some different things. No, it's just not. It's just not happy with me. It's mad at me. All right, we'll do it a different way. Tell everyone it's time for sign off. Oh, this isn't gonna work either. about what it's come down to today. Sign off. That'll work. Really? Nothing? What the heck? Oh. 
What is going on? I wonder if it's because this other one is running. Let's turn this one off. Might be trying to go to like local dot you know, home system dot local or something. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, no, I'm not going to China because of the coronavirus. That's right. Yep, sick people, government canceled everything. Yep, that's right. That's all true. That's a bummer. But that's okay. We'll get over it. We'll figure it out. We'll get something else done. Home assistance not. It looked like it took a... I wonder if it's my network somehow. Could be that we're about to get... Uh, we might be about to get booted. Hey, kiddies! Time for sign off! How about that? <laughs> I had a, uh, somebody sent me a message, uh, one of the, you know, people that asked me to review stuff and everything. And they said, they said, sorry, you know, something, something, um, there's a bad coronary pneumonia <laughs> coronary as in like, you know, coronary is what we talk about your heart, like the, the, uh, muscles and the, and especially the arteries and stuff in your heart. So it's coronary, uh, veggie tails, I know. I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, maybe they could use my help. Yeah, but they don't want me. They need somebody that doesn't, that, not an anesthesiologist. They want a, they want a, a pulmonologist or infectious disease. Somebody like that. Okay. Here we go. Let's do, so I already did, I already did stickers. We already gave away stickers. Hi, guys. Sounds like a YouTube strike song. Like yeah, we don't want that. Oh, always, thanks for watching. Let's do it like, should we do it like Jennifer Lopez is going to do the Super Bowl halftime show? Okay. So we got to do it like it's a Super Bowl halftime show. Okay. Ready? So we're going to do like Super Bowl halftime show. Ready? So many children, I know, right? So, so many. it's going to be a lot of like dancing around. Okay, ready? As always, thanks for watching. Until next time. That's our Super Bowl halftime report sign off. I didn't want to do Bye, everybody. Thanks for being here. Bye-bye. Have a good one.